Hi, my name is John Wallace. In this video, we're going to take a look at using the Adobe Scan app. To use the Adobe Scan app, it is an app that you use on your phone. So you need to download it from either the Play Store or the App Store, depending upon the type of phone you have. Once you download it, it you're going to find it's pretty easy to use and it is free. To use it, though, you do need to create an account. And again, that's pretty simple. When you first open the app, you want to tap on the camera icon in the lower right hand corner. When you do that, Adobe Scan is going to automatically locate the piece of paper that you have placed out in front of you. It will then do that by placing blue circles around what it identifies as the corners of your paper. So again, this happens automatically. If you want, you could also click on the circular, circular uh, icon at the bottom of the window. Adobe Scan works best if you place your piece of paper on a dark background. And make sure you scan each page individually. Do not try to uh, scan three or four pages at a time. You want to do them individually. So what will happen after you um, scan the first page, Adobe will put these borders around the piece of paper so you can drag on the sides or the corners to adjust the capture if you wish. And from that point, you want to uh, tap on continue. And when you do this, it's going to attempt to locate a second piece of paper. So you can scan as many pages as you want. But what's important here is that you create a single PDF file with a single or multiple pages in it. So when you have finished scanning every page that you need to, you want to tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner of this thumbnail image that it will tell you how many pieces of paper you currently have scanned. So what you want to do at that point then is tap on the, um, the pencil icon and you can uh, rename the file. Now that is an optional thing to do. After you do that, tap on the save PDF tap on share. And then at this point, this is an, an important step here. You want to say share a copy. Otherwise it may send a link and we can't grade or, or I cannot um, grade a link. I have to grade the actual document. So share a copy. Do not click on the share link or the email at this point. Once you tap on the share a copy, then it will direct you to um, the type of way or, or the manner in which you wish to share the file. So email it to yourself at this point. And then that's it. What you want to do then is go to your computer and download the PDF locally, log on to Blackboard and locate the file that you want to upload. And then do not use the Blackboard app. It's not reliable. And it most of the time I found that it doesn't work properly. So do not use the Blackboard app to upload your PDF files. So let's walk through the process. On Blackboard, you will see a practice quizzes uh, menu item on the left hand side. It will bring you a list of tabs to click on. So you can click on the appropriate folder or tab to where you need to submit it. Then click on the link. From the link, you want to then click on browse local files, locate your file on your computer, and then select that file and then click on submit. So that's it. That's how you use the Adobe Scan and also upload it to Blackboard. Thanks for watching.